really my uh, perspective that the Bible is really just about two things, uh, salvation and housing. Uh, you, you all are looking at me a little bit uh, <laughs> perplexed, but it's, it's really about two things. The Bible is from Genesis to Revelations, uh, you only see two recurring themes, salvation and housing. Uh, Genesis chapter 3, uh, Adam and Eve are thrown out of the Garden of Eden and become the first homeless couple. Uh, and then <laughs> uh, from, uh, uh, from Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, uh, you find them uh, going through the wilderness and they are tabernacling until they can find some sense of housing. Uh, we cross over into the New Testament and we find uh, the very first Airbnb uh, with Mary and Joseph who are in a manger uh, <laughs> uh, because there is absolutely no room uh, in any of the inns. Uh, we, we see uh, Jesus who has uh, gotten his uh, full certification as a carpenter, uh, 30 years of age, and he's living outside of his dad's house. And he makes the testimony after finding a full career with no children, no marriage, only 12 friends. Uh, and he says out loud, foxes have holes, birds have nests, and a grown man got nowhere to live. Uh, and so it brings us uh, uh, to a real... Uh, a crosshairs of what is the responsibility of the church uh, if we are only talking about salvation and not dealing with housing? Uh, is it a real reflection of the gospel uh, and what it means and where it is that we ought to go?